question number 10 on the Mac OE 6 review um, is addition of fractions. So we're taking 3 sixteenths and we're adding 5 twelfths and we're adding 5 twenty-fourths. And what we first need to do is find the least common denominator for uh, 16, 12, and 24. And in order to do that, we're going to factor, okay? So we're going to first factor 16, okay? I'm going to create a factor tree here. And let's see, Six, hmm, 16, what times what gives us 16? 4 and 4, right? Or you can also have 8 and 2. Can 4 and 4 be broken down even further? Yes, it can. To 2 and 2 and 2 and 2. So the prime factorization for 16 is 2 to the 4th power. 12. Let's see, we can do 1 and 12. And it can be broken down even further because I know that 4 and 3 are factors of 12. 2 and 2 are factors of 12. So for 12, the prime factors of 12 are 2 to the second power times 3. Okay? So far we have 2 fourths and we have 2 to the second times 3. For 24, we're going to break it down. The factors of 24 I know are 8 and 3. Or you can start with 6 and 4 as well and break it down from there. 8 and 3, 3 we can't break down any further, but 8 we can break down into 4 times 2, and then 4 can be broken down again into 2 times 2. So the prime factors of 24 would be 1, 2, 3, 2 to the 3rd times 3. Since we've got the prime factors for 16, 12, and 24, we can now find the greatest common multiple. And in order to find the greatest common multiple, we're going to take the greatest prime factors from all three of these problems. Now what I notice is that you see there's a 2, but the greatest prime factor here is 2 to the 4th power. 2 to the 2nd and 2 to the 3rd we're not going to use because 2 to the 4th is greater. Okay, so 2 to the 4th, and I see we have 3 in common here and here, and since th we only have 3, there's not 3 to the 3rd, or there's not 3 to the 5th power here. We just need to bring down the 3, okay? So, 2 to the 4th power is 16. 16 times 3 is 48. Our least common denominator is 48. So now that we know our least common denominator, we can change our fractions. Because our fractions each have to have the same denominator. We're going to change our denominator from 16 to 48, from 12 to 48, and from 24 to 48. We're going to go from 3 16 to something over 48. To get from 16 to 48, you have to multiply by 3. Since we're multiplying the denominator by 3, you have to multiply the numerator by 3. Remember, anything you do to the denominator, you have to do the numerator as well. So, 16 times 3 gives us 48. So, 3 times 3 gives us 9. Our new fraction is now 9 over 48, okay? We'll write that down here. And we're going to go from 5 over 12 to a number over 48. In order to get from 12 to 48, we have to multiply. We have to multiply by 4 in the denominator. 12 times 4 will give us 48. 5 times 4 is 20. Our new fraction is now 20 over 48. It's the, it's the same as 5 over 12. It's the equivalent fraction. So we have 9 over 48, and we're going to add 20 over 48. We also have to change 5 over 24 into a fraction over 20, I mean over 48. 
okay? To get from 24 to 48, we have to multiply the denominator by 2. And we're going to multiply the numerator by 2 as well. Our equivalent fraction of 5 over 24 is 10 over 48. So, 10 over 48. Now we're ready to add because all of our denominators are the same. 9 plus 20 is 29 plus 10 is 39. So our answer is 39 over 48. And now we have to ask ourselves, can we, re can we reduce this fraction? And I know that just by looking at this, 10 can be divided by 3 on the numerator and the denominator. So 48 divided by 3 is going to give us 16. 39 divided by 3 is 13. Our final answer for question number 10 is 13 over 16.